So it's kind of a ghetto setup. My landowner here, he had a table that I could use temporarily. I didn't have a monitor, so I went to my friend and he had a spare CRT monitor, so obviously I have two books here to hunch that up. I don't think I play like any differently on the nice setups compared to this one. This motivation in me has been coming from winning tournaments and representing my country for it. What motivates a gamer to be a professional gamer? There are the lucky few out there that get to be signed into a team who has enough money to give them a salary equivalent of a normal paycheck. You can be at the very top and work a full-time job and have a girlfriend and sleep. I was your typical parent. You're spending too much time playing computer games. You need to go to school. You need to go to college. I was born in Los Angeles, around two years old. My dad left my mom. She's had to raise us while going to law school. Especially in Singapore, our family actually put a lot of stress on us in terms of our education. He's an A-star student, you know. Because of this gaming, it woke him right now. It's very sad for me. Trying to juggle both studies and gaming at the same time. Yeah, it takes a lot of effort. I'm from Ukraine. My nickname is Dendi. My father didn't have time to understand what Dendi is doing. One way to forget about pain is to do something you will be in completely. So, computer games. Hello everybody out there all around the world. We're live here in Cologne, Germany for the main event. The International is the biggest stage. It's the first time ever we're going to see a prize pool of this size. We're going to see teams of this caliber assembled in one location. It's really difficult for me to like convince my family. I actually got kicked out of my house. My parents used to tell me that gaming would be the death of you one day. Deep down inside, I know this career is going to work out for me in the end. <laughs> 